Yo, what's going on? Okay, I'm going to make a quick video on how to get the best experience with Elden Ring. Now, first things first, if you're playing Elden Ring f for multiple playthroughs, like I'm sure most of you are, um, I would follow this video. If you're playing it for the first time, honestly, just play the game. Don't follow any guides. I mean, if you need help with certain bosses or you need to figure out what weapon to use, maybe... Look at a few videos, but honestly, to get the best, your best first time experience should just be by yourself without the internet's help, right? But if you're like me and you've beaten the game, um, and you don't know whether to go new game plus or start a new character, this is this is the video for you, okay? So we've beaten the game, we want to play it again. New game plus or new game. Now, honestly, unless you just want to make your character just like a level three hundred. God, and you just want to blast through all the content, you don't want to find all the materials and stuff again, New Game Plus is for you. Honestly, I don't think New Game Plus is that enjoyable. Um, if you've just beaten the game and you want to keep playing, I, I would do New Game Plus. I wouldn't just redo everything and collect all that uh, gear again. But honestly, if you're going to do New Game Plus, you're going to destroy everything in the early game, which is half the fun is the early game to me, like collecting all your gear, building your character up. But if you just if you've given the game a break and you're coming back, I would honestly highly suggest new character. It is like half the fun of this game is finding all the gear again and going through all the bosses, starting from one to level whatever you go to. Um, in saying that, if we are going to do the new game, the new story, there are some things we should be doing okay on our second playthrough. If we want to experience all the content the game has to offer. Without watching like a walkthrough such as Cowboy, I know he does some videos where you just literally just watch his videos and he picks up every item in the game and that's going to take you 50,000 times longer. And you're like constantly watching a screen, which isn't as fun in my opinion. Shout out to Cowboy though, he is the GOAT at uh, uh, Soulsborne walkthroughs. Anyways, so first thing you're going to do, start up your character, pick whatever character you want. I would suggest in magic build if you want to get OP quick. I might do a video on that. But pick whatever. Then we're going to come over to Reddit. All this, all these links will be attached in the uh, description. And we're going to go to this guy's Reddit thread, which is unbelievably helpful. This is a guide to all the NPC quest lines, which obviously when you play the game, it's so like it's almost impossible to follow these quests. Like I'm sure a lot of you guys messed up on your first playthrough or did something you shouldn't have killed someone you shouldn't have um or just got lost in a quest and didn't know where to go what to do so this is going to get rid of all that hassle and you're just going to follow this and if you're thinking oh well that's not fun if we just follow you know someone's telling me what to do trust me it's good better than trying to figure it out yourself because it's goddamn impossible trying to do all these quests if you don't know what you're doing also, I suggest before you start the um, your playthrough, watch the YouTube videos that explain the lore and the story of the game. It actually makes it somewhat easy to follow. And like, being in the game and going through the game, you actually understand what's going on in the world. Whereas I'm sure our first playthrough, we're like, what the hell are we doing? We're just killing bosses. We're a tarnish. We're trying to become Elden Lord. And that's about all we know. So if you follow a few uh, YouTube guys that will um, explain the lore and the stories, there's plenty of them, watch them and the game will become more enjoyable and you'll actually understand what's going on. But anyway, this is what we're going to do. We're going to load into the game and this is how you're going to do it. So first, when you get to Limgrave, you're not going to go exploring, you're not going to go looking for everything, you're just going to do this. Okay, you're going to follow this, all this quest stuff done first, right? All the quest stuff for Limgrave. Then once we've done all of that, then we can explore. And the reason I say that is because if you don't, you will explore yourself and you might screw yourself on some of the quests, which we don't want to do, which is a very high possibility. So you might kill someone, you might kill a boss when you shouldn't have, you might have to speak to someone first before you progress the story or the game. So trust me, we're going to do this quest line first, do all the quest stuff. Once we've done that, we're going to explore the map. Now... I'm sure you guys don't want to explore every nook and cranny in the game yourself. So the way I would do it, and what I am doing on my second playthrough, is we come to this beautiful thing here. Now this 
is an interactive map done by the wiki, which is godly, bro. Now, for some reason, okay, now they're all here. So, you can click anything you want from this legend over here. Um, I suggest just having, like, map locations. So, when you're playing the game, all I would do, discover all the map locations. I mean, you can throw talismans on if you want to collect all the talismans. Um, I would, like, if you click all these, it's just too much. It's too much. Like, you just, you don't want to be trying to cl collect every little piece of fucking gear in the game. It's crazy. I mean, if you really want to do that, you can, and this is a good way to do it, but it's going to take you an absolute light year, so just relax. So what I would do, armors, okay, ashes of war, maybe, locations, 100%, so just go to all these locations in the game, and you will pretty much find every boss, so locations, sites of grace, um, upgrade materials is pretty important as well. Maybe weapons. And that's all I would leave. Go through, discover all the locations after you've done all the, crest, uh, the quests rather for that area. Okay, now another thing I like to use is this little map from the wiki as well, which will give you a guide on where to go if you don't want to follow sort of your own quest line, which this guy will take you through where you need to be. Um, in a leveling order, if you follow this, you should level up and be more than competent enough to go through the areas. Um, but if you're not following that, this is another great guide. If you're uh, struggling, like, where do I go? Should I go to this area now, or should I wait? Boom. Come to this map. Let's have a look. We start off at Lingrave. Boom, it's even got arrows to show us where to go. And this is another great way of um, running through Elden Ring. And what this is going to do for you, it's just going to save you hours upon hours of just mindlessly running around and like trial and error. Oh, shouldn't be in Caleb South. I'm getting destroyed by everything. This will just guide you through the game. Nice and easy. Again, I do suggest playing the game bare bones first. Just experience for yourself. It is, I mean, there's a reason they got game of the year. And yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it. How I would go about playing Elden Ring um, for your second time, you're... For the multiple playthrough guys, again, I would suggest making a new character unless you just want to become like a level 300 boss that just has maxed out stats. Um, because really, the fun in the game is discovering all these locations, killing the bosses, and when you are when you come into a new game plus, the, yes, the enemies are harder, but you are pretty much a god at that point. Like, you are insanely, insanely strong. So this whole first area you're just going to destroy everything and you're just going to have no fun so yeah that's it that's my tips and tricks for the video again these links will be linked below i highly suggest you follow them and follow this sort of way just to get the most out of this game um and if you did find the video helpful leave a like subscribe and that's it peace